Grab a seat. Sit up here, grab it up here. You can have mine. Yeah, you can have mine. Here, grab it. Please. I'll just sit here. How's everybody doing? Oh, 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 thank you so much. Look at this. Oh. Hey, George, George. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing. Like I do like avocado. It's usually all in something else. No, it's just the best way to have it. Okay. <laughs> okay, can I can just a little caveat today? This is just for me, but you guys can ask me anything that you want. What? Try to embarrass me. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> Do I get to ask you any questions? Yes, but later. <laughs> <laughs> I say, does that go for us too? Seriously, I, will, I, will not, I don't promise to answer anything you sickos ask. <laughs> but th that time we woke up in Amsterdam and you said nothing happened, was that true? <laughs> Because, you know, I don't, like, and then there were a lot of shows that were just kind of trying to, they, they kind of opened up uh, with, like, a whole cadre of, of that kind of stuff, and it just it wasn't Buffy. So, how do you start with the best and then settle for the rest? I didn't. I just, I just stuck, stuck with the best. <laughs> um, I was actually a fan of the show. Um, so when I got to LA, it was one of the top five shows I wanted to work on, and it was the only one of those shows that I got to work on. But uh, no, it was a, it was a black. I think Dawson's Creek. It was it was the '90s, man. What do you want? Uh, uh, maybe West Wing, I think. Friends, well, yeah, Friends. Uh, maybe Seinfeld. I think no, Seinfeld was off by this, so probably Friends, West Wing, Buffy, and. Um, Spanish sitcom. It's a sitcom, George! It's a sitcom. I was, I was um, in 1975, no, three, four, I was at a Star Trek convention in Oakland, California, one of the first ones, dressed with pointed ears, a blue tunic, a phaser that I made myself, and a big blonde afro. And I was beautiful. It's your show, you know? 
It's called the Buffy Shows, not called Spike the Vampire Slayer. Why don't you go into that trailer, that huge trailer of yours, and you take that bathroom break? Because you know, you need to be comfortable. It's your shot. And she's like, no, I was just kidding. I'm like, no, man, seriously. You've got all those channels on that direct TV thing you've been in your, in your big old trailer. Why don't you just take a nap in there? It's okay. And we went back and forth, and finally she got mad enough to leave. <laughs> Point, at which point all of her like her makeup people and wardrobe people came in one at a time and tried to talk me down off the rig. And I just know this is gonna move. And then finally about 25 minutes later she came back, she's like, I'm ready now. And I just totally got her. <laughs>
how do you get rid of a George Hurts birth tattoo? What do you do to get rid of a George Hurts birth tattoo? It takes a lot, trust me. I can turn this into Poland. I can turn this into... It's a very tall tattoo. Almost like 
you know, it's almost like a song or memorizing poetry or even, you know, kind of like Shakespeare. I think a lot of people have, you know, uh, drawn a parallel between, a, a loose parallel between <laughs> those two <laughs> you know, writing styles. But yeah, it was, it was in a way very easy, like James was saying, to memorize because it just had, it had a certain cadence to it. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. It definitely felt very theatrical. And I remember watching a couple of scenes actually that you and I had done and expecting, oh man, this is, because I know it's just beat it right in here. It was cut. <laughs> cut for TV. We can't have too much of the pause. We're going to bring that in. But the rhythm of the speech. <laughs> Um, also, like on a, on a lot of films or television, they'll tell you, look, if you can come up with a different way of saying this that feels more natural to you, go for that. It's not on Not on butter. No. Uh, James, you missed a comma. Uh, yeah. Take two. And we didn't come up with one word. It was all, like, if the conjunction was not correct, we'd go back and pick that up, so. Yeah, yeah we've, we've got the question before of, you know, did you ever improvise any of your lines? It's a no. Not, didn't dare. 